Hi, I'm Gabriel Williams. I'm a certified firefighter in the state of Illinois. Today, we're going to talk about a list of things families need after a house fire. Now remember, if you have a small fire in your home, it's good to have an idea of what am I going to need after this happens. Be prepared. Know that you should have a fire escape plan in place before the fire ever happens. Get together with your, ham with your family and practice your fire escape plan. Have a rendezvous point set up of this is where we're going to meet in the event of a fire. Across the street from your house or in a neighbor's yard is a good place to meet. Once there, you can refer to this list that you've prepared ahead of time and know, hey, I can keep these things in the trunk of my car or somewhere like that where I can get to them easily in the event of a fire. Some of the things it'd be good to have would be blankets. If it's cold when the fire starts, you're gonna be outside. It'd be good to have a blanket that you can wrap yourself in to stay warm, one for each family member at least. Bottled water, you never know what time it is or how long it's gonna take for you to get back into your house after a, smire, a fire, if it's a small one. So make sure you have bottled water so that you have something to drink and stay hydrated after that happens. Maybe some type of snacks so you have food to eat would be a good thing as well. If it's a small fire and you can get back into your house, then you can have some type of kit in your house with cleaning supplies, masks to wear over your face to prevent dust or smoke inhalation, and again, food or water to be prepared. Canned foods are good, things that keep for a long time. You can have these kits prepared and kept in a safe place in your home, ready to go. It's a good idea also, if you have any valuables in your home, make sure you get a fireproof safe that you can put those things in. You may not have time to grab these things or to even grab this list. That's why it's important to make a plan and talk about it ahead of time. The best way to survive a fire is to prevent it from ever happening in the first place. But if you can't do that, then be prepared by going over a plan before it happens. If you have had a small fire in your house, it's a good idea to keep some cleaning supplies around. General um, basic house cleaning supplies will do, but make sure you have some type of protective gloves, maybe a protective mask over your face, maybe even protection for your eyes. There could be large items that are burned that are going to need to be removed from the house or for small, de smaller debris and things like that, you're going to need some rags, paper towels, maybe scrub brushes, things like that. Cleaning agents will help you best be prepared to clean up in the event of a fire. I know a lot of this seems like common sense, but it's only common sense if it's common to you. And now it is. I'm Gabriel Williams, and we've been talking about a list of family needs in the event of a small house fire.